The Grim Reaper is well known as the personification of death, but does he actually have a walking speed and could your walking speed be linked to your death? Coming up. Hello, my name's Dr. Stephen. I'm a chiropractor based in Reading. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking again about walking because your walking speed has a correlation with your death. And as it turns out, the Grim Reaper does in fact have a walking speed. Walking is not only necessary for getting around, but also necessary for maintaining your health. We know that as soon as you stop walking, as soon as you start moving, your health will rapidly decline. And so we need movement every single day to maintain our health. They did a study in 2011 in Sydney, Australia, where they took 1,705 men age 70 or over and recorded their walking speed at baseline. They then recorded whether they died or not over the preceding five years to see if there was any correlation between the speed at which they walked and their death. And as it turned out, there is a direct inverse correlation with how fast you walk and your chances of dying, giving the Grim Reaper a walking speed. So what they did is they ranked the walking speed from top to bottom in all of these men, and they then looked at who died. And it turns out that if they were on the bottom fourth of this table, they had a 300% increased likelihood of dying in those preceding five years. There were no deaths within those five years in those walking three miles per hour or five kilometers per hour or more. And those that walked two miles per hour or three kilometers per hour had a 1.23 increased chance of surviving within those five years. Giving the Grim Reaper a walking speed of two miles per hour or three kilometers per hour. So the question you might be asking is why is this? Why is it that the speed of your walk actually matters? And I think it comes down to two factors. The first factor is there are so many health benefits to walking. And if you want to find out more about that more specifically, then check out my video here as I go into detail on that. We know that we are designed to move and therefore it's essential that we're moving every day to maintain a basic health level. And so when we stop walking, our health will rapidly decline and things will then start to get worse and worse. So this is gonna be one reason why your walking speed is gonna have an effect, but also we also know that the closer you are to death, if it's from old age or from certain terminal conditions, your mobility is going to start to decrease and therefore your walking speed will decrease. So it's probably a combination of the other. But the question is, if you are walking less than two or three miles per hour, if you increase it to three or four miles per hour, could you actually prolong your life? And I would say most likely yes, because the more that you move and the faster that you walk, the more health benefits you're going to get and therefore increasing your health level and prolonging your life. So if you, your neighbor, your friend, your grandparents are walking less than two or three miles per hour, then you need to nudge them forwards to get them moving more so that they have a better chance of surviving longer and having a better quality of life. And so in conclusion, yes, Grim Reaper does in fact have a walking speed of around two miles per hour. And so if you're not walking that speed, you need to nudge yourself to go a little bit faster to get the health benefits that you need. If you wanna check out this study, then check it out in the comments below. That I'll link it in there. If you are new here, then please do consider subscribing for new videos like this one twice a week. I do videos on helping people to optimize their health and living pain-free lives. I will see you next time. Have a great rest of your day. Take care, bye-bye.